now that we know how to identify the major growth forms of corals, let's learn how to identify some of the most common genera that occur on the reef. We'll start with the Acropora, which are the most common branching corals on the reef. The feature that distinguishes Acroporas from all other branching corals is the presence of an axial corallite. You can see axial corallites here and here. The axial corallites are actually a special structural corallite that runs all the way up the center of the branch and it points in the direction that the branch is growing. Along the side of the branches, we have different corallites called radial corallites, and they're usually a bit smaller than the axial corallites. What do these Acropora look like in the field? Well, all of these corals in this video are Acroporas. You can see they're making these branch-like growth forms. And if you're looking closely, you might've been able to see those axial corallites. Now let's look at the most common mound-shaped or massive genera that occur on the Great Barrier Reef. The first one is parietes. This is an example of a mound-shaped parietes. These corals have very small corallites, usually around two millimeters in diameter. You can see the corallites are closely packed across the whole tissue surface. The tissue or skeleton surface itself is quite smooth, although there can be some hillocky or bumpy kind of structures on the skeleton. The next one to learn is a genus called Goniastria. The corallites are about one centimeter in diameter. The walls are shared. And there's usually only one corallite mouth within each set of walls. If you look closely, the septa are very fine and regular, and there's a lot of septa running into each corallite. Each corallite also has a central ring around the mouth, which is we call a paliform crown. Finally, we have the genus Symphilia. These corals have larger corallites, usually between one and a half to two and a half centimeters in diameter. There are multiple polyp mouths in between each set of walls. And the septa are extremely spiky. You can see these big teeth running along the inside of the septa. So there we have our Acropora, branching corals with an axial corallite. Parietes, which are mound-shaped or massive corals with very small polyps. We have our goniastria, mound-shaped corals with corallites that are about one centimeter in diameter, and symphilia, mound-shaped corals with large corallites, very fleshy tissues, and very spiky, toothy septa.